travel diary london edition this time rupa couldn't come along because of work so i was traveling with the kids and my mom so this is just a little video maybe to help any of you who may be planning a trip there or hopefully just to entertain you and i hope you'll enjoy it so we got to london it was so exciting because at the airport we met dk and dj bravo and the kids were ecstatic because they love cricket that was a great start and went to uh, my uncle and aunt's place where we were staying lovely to catch up with them of course and as you may know i'm half indian and half english we have a lot of relatives in england including my sister who lives there it's a sunny day in london i'm here with the kids and i have to say the kids at almost 9 and almost 7 so much more independent being a bit of a referee when they're fighting and stuff but they were great companions to each other then we'd actually come to london for the 50 year revival of a play my dad wrote called a touch of brightness it was part of the retracing our footsteps festival at the royal court theater in london which was in collaboration with butcher boulevard Then of course at the reading it was wonderful we met my sister relatives friends play reading went wonderfully the next day it was just fun to explore just so much walking walking around with the kids at this age of almost 9 and almost 7 buses and tubes was such a hit with them they enjoyed looking at the tube maps figuring out where to go what to do the next station is baker street change for the so cool Then we went to the rose garden which is beautiful and where I used to go as a kid with my grandparents uh in Regent's Park and now it's so amazing to show it to the kids we went for a meal to a super restaurant called Inamo uh with my dear friend Kemi and with her two gorgeous little girls so it's great that our kids are also friends like next generation friends so that was really fun this restaurant in London is pretty cool Inamo Uh, my very close friend Kemi suggested it. They have these tables Best where they have video games. I'm not a big fan of using technology, especially It's when kids are eating. Gym. So once in a while, I think it's okay. And we went ice skating at Queensway. Something we used to do when we were kids, my sister and me, which was really really fun. Meanwhile, I've become a bit of a skater. and then a run in the park with my cousin Catherine which is always fun having a run in London with my lovely cousin <laughs> yes along the canal It's really lovely sunny day then we took the kids to lords lords cricket ground the home of cricket and we're missing their daddy who couldn't make it for the trip because he's busy with work but no plastic is the message and um, All of you, please. No one-use plastic. No plastic. All about sustainable living and eco-friendly stuff. They were thrilled, and they also got to play there. Ah! Wow! Good shot! Good shot! Brilliant! Wow! Well done. The next day, we went to Go A, which is this super fun adventure park that belongs to my cousin Rebecca and her and her husband Tristan. It's amazing. You actually climb through trees, and you—I was petrified because I'm not very good with heights. But the kids adored it. So we are at Go Eight, this amazing, amazing treetop adventure place, which belongs to my cousin Rebecca and her husband Tristan. And it's amazing because I actually also did this course. I was petrified, but as you can see, the kids are just merrily doing it. There's Kai up on one of them. and we did and there's then about to do the zip line we wow wow and i overcame my fears and my cousin cat was very brave and we did it and i would strongly recommend it for anyone who's in the uk and actually it's all over the world now check out the one that's closest to you and go try it out they are so careful with the safety precautions so there's nothing to fear in that department Um, and i have to say after i got over my fear i was like wow that was amazing Let's 
she was crying. No, I wasn't. I managed, but I'm quite scared of heights. So for me, this was a huge accomplishment. And well done, Goet, because it got me off the ground. Literally, I've always I'm been so scared of heights. And they were great. The staff was so good, and we all managed, and it was super fun, right? Woohoo! Then we went to Legoland. Really fun. Kai was thrilled that there's a Ninjago called Kai. Yeah, we are at Legoland. Really excited. Boys, are you excited? Yes. Yes, you look like your Lego characters because you're dressed up in these Lego colors. Then again, lots of buses and tubes. Oxford Street. On Oxford Street, you cannot come to London and not go to Oxford Street, however touristy it may be. Probably meet half of Bombay on Oxford Street in the holidays. Uh, a lot of people who come uh, to London, but um, yeah, it's one of those things that I can't be in London and not do. Uh, so just going to pick up a few quick things and uh, then going to be taking the kids to Hamleys. So what I did do, which was really exciting, is a dear friend who was also at the London School of Economics with me, uh, Zelda, she invited me for this wonderful evening which was being hosted by Goldie Horn and Kurt Russell to talk about her fabulous organization called Mind Up which does work with children to actually teach them about how the brain works. It's a fascinating, fascinating uh, organization that's doing fabulous work. It's a curriculum in schools called Mind Up where they actually do a lot of mindfulness. We had a little child there who explained what it was all about. It was hosted at the amazing Bruno Wang's home. Um, and I must say, I'm gonna be hopefully having Goldie on the show, Touchwood, and uh, I hope to do a lot more with the organization because I think they're doing fabulous work. Um, and that was a lovely evening. I'll tell you more about that in another video. It was time to say bye to London, bye to my relatives there, and leave on a train to see my sister at her home with her kids and husband up north.